All right, boys, we're back in business. But first of all, a little bonus from last time. A viewer said that there is a secret thing in this little room. By going outside this window and on the ledge, you will find first on this pathway a little scroll, a fiery scroll. There used to be a bag full of gold here. But apparently they removed it so you wouldn't become too rich in the beginning of the game. Move down the ladder and it, on the bottom you'll see some uh, herbs and a note that Xardas left for us. Just in case you want to perform a special ritual. Uh, also a Belyar mini statue. Now once you read the note from Xardas, you also have to place one of the potions on the pedestal just by interacting with it and then open up your inventory again and interact with the mini yeah. belliard of statue you'll get a little mana elixir and also two vitality points by drinking it oh well, that's a little bonus for you right now back to business where we were what do you mean I should have known that from the start, Grogu? Come on, we're not all knowing like you are, even though you're 200 years old. Either way, guys, if you still want to get some weapons, there's a little dagger here on the floor. There's some uh, black mushrooms and schnapps. Make sure you equip your weapon and the minor pants. And also we have a little ladder from Xardas over here that indicates that there's a little tiny cave on the left which can lead to the pass of the valley of mines you just need something special to actually unlock the gate now let's kill the mini wolf i will also make a little guide on how to use one-handed and two-handed weapons for those that actually have problems with close combat with swords and such but you probably don't since you've been playing gothic forever most likely but with the new balance or in returning in general, the mod has some updated mechanics for monsters. So certain ones won't work the same way as they did before. For example, the troll. <clears throat> Once you're done with the wolf, you'll go down this little path into the cave and start killing some goblins with a little bow would be nice, correct? And the longer you hold the bow in place, if you have free aim, the more damage you will do while aiming. I normally just kill the two next ones and kill the last one with a melee with the branch. Yes, I know, Grogu. Not everybody can use the force like yourself. We're not all force sensitive, you know. We're just regular people trying to play regular games. We're not all Star Wars like you are. Yeah, I know you're cute. <laughs> anyway, continue down this path. There's going to be two more goblins on the right. And uh, kill them all the way you wish. You can even go for two with your melee weapon. As long as they're young goblins. When they're young goblins, they're actually a little confused with their mechanics. And they won't hit you right away. When they're adults, they'd probably kill you in two shots with... Uh, the equipment you just have now. Anyway, grab everything you see on the floor, like you always do. All the food, all the scrolls, and continue down this path until you see a ledge and uh, some healing herbs, which you're going to need to enter the city. You're going to find out how to enter the city from Lester, which we are going to at this very moment. Yes, I know, Grogu. There's a lot of beasts in this valley, but we'll take care of it. Don't worry. There is a way to kill most of them, but I'm just going to start with uh, the two scavengers you hear over here. Uh, mostly because I want to save all the meat that I can get. You still have to learn how to take meat in this game. Unlike in the base game, somebody in town will actually teach you. But the 30 and 60 experience that we'll get from these scavengers isn't going to be so bad. You can always lure them to Lester if it's too hard for you. And he will kill them for you. But I like the extra experience anyway. Once you're done with them, talk to Lester. 
and you will also find out about the Brotherhood uh, that was the Brotherhood of the Sleeper in the first game. Is that you? Make sure you talk to him twice so you get the loincloth and if you actually want to join the Brotherhood, that is the first step. Once you're done talking to Lester, just go back the same way you came in, through the cave. And that will be our conclusion for this episode. Say bye, Grogu! May the Force be with you.